All right, so I got a feather filler. I put a coat on the entire dashboard, sanded it, primed it, wet sanded it, and laid a coat of black. It's not amazing. It's not as bad as it was. I personally don't care, but I didn't want to have giant cracks in it because that drives me no more insane. But I think it'll be all right. I'm gonna lay a couple more coats of black. Uh, yeah. I think that'll be good. So I got the Chase Bays lines here, and I got this fuel pressure regulator. So I'm going to show you guys how to install that on the VQ35 S13 swap. Because it's not incredibly hard, but there's not a lot of instructions on how to do it. So here's a video on how to do it. So we're going to get to that here we have this is the tank vent right here and what you're supposed to do is take this one bend it right just bend it up there like that okay now that that's done all right so then after your tank vent you've got your fuel return this is your fuel return right here and then the next one is your fuel feed so that would be this inner one here. So basically, you've got your brake line here, you've got your fuel feed, and then you've got your fuel return, then you've got your vent. Um, with the Chase Base Kit, what you're gonna wanna do is come under here with an angle grinder or a pipe cutter and slice these off because you don't need all this excess room and there's no way you're gonna get the uh, Chase Base lines over the flanges. So I'm gonna get the angle grinder and I'm gonna cut each of these and hope for the best. All right, so your fuel feed comes into here, and then your fuel return comes out of here, and then this is the short hose that runs to the back of your fuel rail on your VQ. All right, so I can't show you guys this because it's already done, but basically on the OEM fuel rail, uh, this is flipped over and then there's a whole assembly that comes out this way. Um, basically, you just have to cut it and leave a little nub here, flip it over, and then you run the small line from here to here. So that should be it. That's everything installed on your Chase Bay's fuel line kit. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.